Hi, this is Elliot Eisenberg of Graphs and Laughs, catching you up to date on residential sales data for both Hillsborough and Pasco counties. And the house party continues. And the most important piece of data to keep in mind is inventory data. Inventory in Hillsborough County, yeah, prices are at all time records and sales are at all time records in both counties or they're at January records and across the board in every single dimension. And there's, but there's no inventory. Inventory is down by 58% active inventory for single family in Hillsborough and 48 for multi. In Pasco County, the related numbers are 60% and 58%. The months of inventory are 9 tenths in single fam in both Hillsborough and Pasco. And in multi fam, it's one, per, one month in Hillsborough and wow, 1.1 months in Pasco County. This data has made a liar out of me. I keep telling you month after month, you're running out of inventory, something's gonna happen. But it turns out, nothing happens. Buyers are completely content to essentially see absolutely no units. Yeah, they're looking a little more at multifamily now and multifamily sales activities up compared to single fam because they want to widen their scope and see a little bit more. But there's even though there's nothing to buy and inventories are all time lows, sales activity is terrific. Buyers just adapt and they accept what the reality is and they want to live here. They'll look at one house or look at no houses or tell their realtor just to buy a house or something. I'm joking, but you get the idea. There's really nothing out there and that doesn't seem to make any difference. We'll see how low we can go, but I've gotten much more in enthusiastic because a lack of inventory doesn't seem to really affect sales data. It brings prices up and this is altogether okay for the time being. Nationally, uh, again, I was I, I have been mistaken. Last month I got here and I told you GDP growth in Q1 was going to be 1.5%. Now I think it's going to be 4%. And Q2 and Q3 are going to be 8% in each quarter and Q4 down to 1, down to 4%. So 4, 8, 8, and 4 in the fourth quarter as we tend towards a normal economic growth in 2022. The reason that $900 billion stimulus package that President Trump signed in December is core things through the economy and it's being spent rapidly. Households are feeling much better. I think they think that the COVID numbers are starting to go down. Vaccinations are improving. Weather will get better. Jobs will return and so on and so forth. And just as that's going to be ending in middle of March, the President Biden stimulus package or pandemic relief bill is going to come into law and that's going to continue these processes, send us more stimmy checks and that's going to move us along. So we're going to have very good growth. Oh, the question is, are we going to have inflation? And the answer is yes and no. Yes, inflation is going to appear, but no, it's not going to be perpetuating perpetual year after year inflation. The Fed's going to look beyond it. This is what's happening. In March, April, and May, we're going to start to see inflation numbers, but they're going to be based on base effects. Let me explain. Remember last March, what happened to airplane tickets during COVID? They went to pretty much zero. How about gasoline prices? They dropped like a rock. How about movie ticket sales? They went to zero also. So if you compare the prices today to where they were a year ago when the recession began and the lockdown began, prices are up by a lot but they're not really higher today than they were just before the pandemic. There's no real inflation, but compared to the really rock bottom numbers, there is. So we're gonna see inflation go up, and then after six or seven or eight months or 12 months, it's gonna go back down. The Fed's gonna look totally beyond this. This doesn't really matter. For those of you old enough to remember the 70s, that was bad inflation. We're not gonna get that because we don't have COLA clauses in labor contracts that perpetuate the inflation from year to year. This is a vastly different time. Relax, enjoy the good period of time. We're not gonna see real serious inflation. I look forward to seeing you next month.